Thank, thank you all so much for being here with us this morning. As you all know, Georgia is a state that values life. We protect the innocent. We champion the vulnerable. We stand up and speak for those who are unable to speak for themselves. The Life Act is very simple, but also very powerful. A declaration that all life has value, that all life matters, and that all life is worthy of protection. I understand, like the others have said, that some oppose this legislation. I realize that some may challenge it in the court of law. But our job is to do what is right, not what is easy. We are called to be strong and courageous. And we will not back down. We will always continue to fight for life. I'm signing HB 481 this morning to ensure that all Georgians have the opportunity to live, grow, learn, and prosper in our great state. Through the Life Act, we will allow precious babies to grow up and realize their full God-given potential. I want to thank Speaker Ralston, Lieutenant Governor Duncan, for their strong leadership uh, at this state capitol and on this issue. I, like others before me, stand here to applaud Representative Ed Setzler and Senator Renee Unterman for a job well done crafting this piece of legislation and championing this noble cause. I want to also thank my floor leaders, Representative Terry Rogers, Jody Lott, Burt Reeves, Dominic Lariccia, Senators Blake Tillery, and Brian Strickland for their hard work in helping secure passage of the Life Act. And finally, I want to thank those behind me and to the side of me, those in front of me, those outside of these doors and throughout Georgia who refuse to be silent on this issue, who rejected the status quo, who believe, as I do, that every baby has a right to life. Yes. But remember, today is just the beginning, folks. We have too many children that are stuck in foster care. The adoptions process, while we've made great strides in Georgia, we have more to do because it's still too expensive and too cumbersome for Georgia families. The elderly are being exploited and abused in communities throughout our state and our nation and countless victims of human trafficking remain in the shadows. They deserve justice. That is why we must all continue to fight. We must protect life at all stages. We must, we, we must remember our higher calling, and we must remember to work in the days, months, and years ahead, as we have done this year. Thank you all. And God bless you. I'm looking forward to signing House Bill 481, the Life Act. Yeah.